coming to this these towns, we always want to give some type of history, some type of context of what's going on here. So that's why we want to do something that we're called, you know, the top five of the town. So we have yeah. the perfect person to do that with Patrick K, the bum, town bum, administrator. Bum. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us in Pacala today. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming to Packlet. Yes. yes, you've been on all morning. It's it's fun being like, all right, we need you on TV about 5 a.m. Come on down. Sure, sure, <laughs> I don't mind. We I got in here about 4:30 and it was dark. We've seen the sun come up, uh, but having all of y'all out here, all the segments have been amazing. Really impressed about what y'all have done here for our community. I love it. Tell me exactly where we are right now. Let's get some you know some ground text to people at home. Sure. So this area right here is what's called the flats. Okay. Uh, and it's called that because actually the the foundation that you guys are on yeah was part of the old mill here. Ah. And so the mill that was built back in the late 1800s by um, Captain John Henry Montgomery built all of that you see out here, and um, so you've got. You know, you've got the cloth room back behind you, which was the last place the cloth was inspected okay. before it went out of town. Um, you know, the, our office's town hall is the old um, headquarters right of, the, of okay. the mill itself, up okay. on top of the hill there. Uh, but there's so much history around here. You have the river, and the whole reason that the mill right here is originally mills were actually run by water. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is before the electricity. Energy, so the cotton yeah. mills were powered by the water. Absolutely. Yeah. And so you had water that came in through what's called the head race. And it goes through the mill itself and then out into the river called the tail race at the very end down there. I mean, very interesting. That's when I asked you for these top five of the town. You gave me some great things. Which yeah. one of them is a big thing for Millican? We hear a lot about Millican. Yes. That's yeah. our first. So everyone's heard about Millican uh -huh. in the southeast, but Packwood is the reason that Millican's down here. So when Captain John Henry Montgomery was originally starting this mill, Packlet Manufacturing, he was looking for investors to come in and help him build this out here. And so he reached out to a guy named Seth Millican which is Roger Milliken's grandfather, Deering Milliken in New York. And he invested, I believe I saw it was originally about $10,000 he invested in here. And because of that, that is the, the first investment of the Milliken family down here. Oh, I mean, that's, I, that's cool. super interesting, that's, right? Yeah. Super interesting. And the next one is, I think, about the name. Like what uh, the... Packlet is the Indian word for horse. Yes. And so um, you have the Packlet River that's right here. Okay. Uh, originally, it was called Trough Shoals, and it's called Trough Shoals because just up here there was a, there was some shoals, and it was an easy place for you to cross the river. That's where the Cherokee and the Catawba would actually come here and trade. Uh, and so being right here on Trough Shoals, later on it became Packlet Manufacturing, Packlet Mills, um, and I think there's another little trivia on there about the, the number of towns here, too. Yes, and there were five, you said? There were, there were four, four towns. Four yes. towns. So you had Packlet, um, Packlet Mills, which is this area around here. Uh, you had Packlet Park, and you have Central Packlet. And so they have all merged together, except for Central Packlet is still a separate part, separate municipality. Uh, then you have the town of Packlet. Wow. Huh. And then you guys also have the South Carolina, a former South Carolina a Supreme Court Justice from yes, Packlet. Bruce Littlejohn. Yeah. Born and raised right here in our community. Uh, we've actually got some of his uh, uh, his original law office. They donated all of the original uh, books and, and law books and his entire desk and everything is all located in our museum in the lower section of Town Hall. That is so cool because cool. that's kind of like, <clears throat> you know, that's a big journey. Yeah. That's amazing. So thank you for giving us our first uh, top five in Absolutely. the town because something we want to give people some uh, historical context and of the places that we're visiting. So mm -hmm. thank you people, so much for you know, doing What that. we're looking at is we're, we've just done a master plan for the town. So how we want to see the town grow over the next 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you can see that on our website. We want to more people to kind of learn about the town. We just sold the cloth room to a developer, and so he's got five years to complete that into a mixed-use facility down here. So Packlet's growing. You're going to see a lot more exciting activities down here. Uh, access to the river and kayaking down here. A new Say event, less, right? A, a new event gotta, called Paddle the Packlet that's going to be in September. So a lot of exciting things happening here. You got it going on down here. Yes. So thank you so much. And for I love your us. energy too. Yeah, you get excited about energy. Packlet. So thanks for teaching us. We're just something. here having a perfect Packlet day. I love it. A party day. and Packlet is there what we go. like to do. 